Hi friends, welcome to free VBA tips. Today I will be talking about VLOOKUP. This is a very common formula, but I will be covering some of the common problems that we face with VLOOKUP. So first I will teach you that how the VLOOKUP works and what it stands for. So as the name suggests, VLOOKUP, it is a vertical lookup. So this is a vertical row over here and then we look up for a value. So it is like uh, if we, we should have a common field in both the sheets to look up a value. So say there is a employee ID, one of the sheet contains some of the uh, public details and other sheet contains some personal details. So we can use VLOOKUP to find uh, the related values or the values based on the employee ID. So here I am looking at representative which is denoted by wrap over here. This is wrap and based on the wrap, I'll be looking up uh, some of the personal details of the employees in sheet sample 2. Okay, so let me write a VLOOKUP over here. VLOOKUP and then we have to put the lookup value. So right now I'm looking for wrap name. So let me choose wrap name and then I'll put one more comma over here. So this IntelliSense will guide me table array. So my table is this one. So let me choose everything over here like this. So right now I'll be looking for uh, column B. So if you want, you can also choose like A and B because we don't need C. But uh, I, I am in the habit of choosing everything so that, you know, tomorrow if I want to uh, add one more field over here, so I don't need to create the lookup again. So now, now I have to give the column index over here. So I'll choose column two. And then I would put one more comma and then range lookup is like if you want the exact match. So it is generally zero. So we have to put the zero to find the exact match. Let me hit enter and see. Okay, so let me just uh, undo the color I have done. In. Okay, so my values has come over here. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, you might face some issues. So there could be three reasons for that. So let me cover those reasons one by one. And I'll just highlight the VLOOKUP right now so that you can have a look at it. This is a Mac, uh, Excel for Mac. So this, this might look little different from Windows. Okay. So coming back over here, say this is my rep name and there is a space. There is a space and if, if I ent hit enter over here, see this, this has gone now. So this is not able to find, but we cannot uh, uh, look at the values just by eye. So what we have to do is we have to use a trim over here. So we can use trim, trim removes the spaces and then you choose uh, this name and hit enter. Then I'll press shift and control and arrow down and then I copy and paste these values over here as values. Do not just directly paste it. Otherwise it will have formula and you might face issues. So I'll paste as values. So see this one is corrected right now. This is first reason which could be the problem for VLOOKUP. Second could be there are duplicates. So uh, what you can do is you can select everything and then you go to uh, data and then click on remove duplicates. If the, your lookup still doesn't work, then what you can do is you can uh, sort the data, so select everything and then sort the data on the basis of rep. Okay. So these are the three things first is trim, then you can remove duplicates and then you can sort the data and these, these things should fix your VLOOKUP. Okay. So, so right now you can see there is some error over here. So there is a fix for this. What you can do is let me zoom a little bit. There is a formula for this, which is if error. So I'll just open my lookup over here. I'll just go to this uh, equal to, okay. Then I'll type if error then open the bracket okay then what you have to do is go to last if error i want this value sorry if error then what should be the values i have put a comma over here and then i'll put there is some error close it inverted commas and then close it and hit enter now see this value has come. There is some error. There is some error. You can see these two values. If you want, you can remove this dialog as well. If you want just a blank blank value over here, you can just remove the 
value between the spaces so I'll just remove these values like this and then just delete and hit enter now see you see blank over here I hope this makes sense if you have any questions related to VLOOKUP you can ask me in comments thank you for watching have a nice day ahead bye bye